Hey guys, welcome back to another waving tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how to wave. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for guys for tuning in. Sorry guys, that was a dumb joke. I had to do it because I'm dumb. Today we'll be making a wave beat, kind of like wave mob or liquid ritual. I would best describe wave as, um, wave is like a flip on traditional electronic music. Instead of using the re-space as a focus for the breakdowns, it actually becomes the focus for the drops in most of the songs. The scents are gen generally very melodic and atmospheric. Um, they can they can be saw waves, uh, usually a lot of reverb. It's very related to trap music. It, it basically branched off of trap music, so the drums are very trap-esque. Uh, I think it's about all you need to know about waves, so um, hopefully that gives you an idea of what it is. Now let's get into making it. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to start with a drum beat with a lot of reverb. Generally on the snare, the snare is probably the most important thing to put reverb on, maybe the percussion after that. I'm not really going to show you how I made the drum beat, but i show people how to make drum beats in every other tutorial I make. Alright, next we're going to make re-space. I have a tutorial up here if you want to check out my complete tutorial on how to make a good re-space with Serum. But essentially we're going to use saw waves and uh, we're going to turn up the unison, then we're going to put a low pass filter with a bunch of resonance. Then I'm going to add on Isotope Trash 2 for some tone. More like a lot of tone, am I right? Now I'm gonna play a bass line in A minor. It could be in any key really. I'm just gonna do A minor because it's uh, nice and easy. We want it to have that sound. It's kind of hard to explain it, but um, usually the bass line progression will involve some sort of interval that, that goes up and creates this uh, powerful sort of dynamic between the melody and the bass. Again, this is gonna be another shortcut I'm doing similar to the drums. I'm not gonna show you guys exactly how to sound design sounds for waves. I'll just give you some, some basic ideas first, and then you can either use your own sounds or make your own sounds. But it's basically a good idea to make sounds before even going getting this far into the project. At least for me, I don't like to sound design while I'm writing music. I like to just have the sounds ready. It takes away from the flow of writing music when you have to sit there and fiddle with uh, the settings for a sound for like 15 minutes. You know what I mean? And if you are going to use a preset, I suggest you tweaking it a little bit because there's no way any almost any preset will fit perfectly into a track as is there's definitely some settings you could tweak into it like 20 percent at least no matter what so i have a sound here already ready and um i'm gonna play a riff on it in a minor something i think um goes along with the bass but doesn't really get too repetitive but still is a little bit catchy you know what i mean this is pretty dope i might have to use it later So I found a sound, but it's not exactly what I'm going for. This is where some basic synth knowledge will come in handy. That way we can change the sound to exactly what we're looking for if you're gonna use a preset or some sort of other sound already. So I'm gonna have to change this sound a little bit. It sounds like the delay, there's like some delay or attack preventing me from uh, making it hit on the beat. I'm gonna put it more on beat using quantization or manual settings. Then I'm going to add some track delay to compensate for the delay on the sound. I didn't quite fix the sound as much as I thought I did. Now we need a harmonizing sound. Melody is great, but harmony is even better. Found a sound I liked, um, playing a riff in A minor. Again, same thing with the sound. I'm using a sound I already had made. Make sure to do some sound design in advance or to find some good, a good sound pack. I'm gonna add some new percussion sounds, cause fuck it, why not? Now I'm gonna redo the kick. Quite often when I make a project, after adding quite a few elements, I'll find that I'll have to replace some elements. Or I could, I, I'll think to myself, you know what, I think that kick could be a little more, I don't know, it's missing a few things. Basically I'm gonna re-record one that fits much better now, or that I think fits much better now, after we have all these other elements for context. You can really do this with any instrument. So I wasn't really quite happy with the leads I recorded, so um, I'm back for round two. I got another sound, obviously, have sound already made because, um, 
Jesus and Sam's live tomorrow, but I will do one of those very soon. If you're gonna dislike because there's no sound design, just wait. And then dislike that video, because it's not good enough. All right, now I'm gonna record a little bit. I think I heard a little idea there. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna try to edit it to fit the idea I heard in my head. I know, let's listen to it. Now I'm gonna add another sound. I'm gonna add a bass layer. I'm not really sure why I'm doing this at this point. Um, I guess I just thought it'd be another cool thing to add to it. So I'm duplicating the bass line onto its own track, its own serum track, and it's gonna be another layer of it essentially. In this layer of it, it's going to be really distorted. So I have this uh, instance of Serum here. And um, I really like what it's doing with the comb filter here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up the settings so that it's all in the right octaves. Now let's find some distortion for it because um, we can give this uh, a little bit of a nicer tone, I think. Now I'm gonna record some comb filter automation. A comb filter has that um, electronic comb sound, I think it's the best way to put it. it sounds like um, a comb going against electronics. But basically I'm gonna automate it so that it uh, creates this uh, sliding sound. And uh, just, uh, I don't know, it gives it like a nastier layer to the, the, the bass. I'm only gonna throw this in towards the end of the song. This isn't gonna be just throughout the song, it'd be too intense. Now I'm going to edit the automation exactly to how I want it after recording it. Now I'm going to record another lead. We'll try to. I don't know, I guess we're just recording leads all day here. This is like number five now. Again, using a sound already made. Otherwise this, this tutorial will be 45 minutes. Then I'm going to add some distortion. Again, I still trash too. Now, if you guys wanted to ask me how to do these tutorials a lot, I'd tell trash too. I don't fucking know. All right, now we're gonna do some arranging. Um, just basic arrangement, have an intro. Um, when it drops, make sure it goes for a certain amount of time, not too long though, so people don't get bored. Make sure there's probably a breakdown or something. Um, and then bring it back. And then um, the song's most likely over after that, a little bit after that. All right, hopefully that's it. Hopefully you guys learn how to make a wave beat. That's it for this video. I'm your host, We Are Beats. I'm the world's smartest rapper. Just kidding. Make sure you check out my Patreon if you haven't. I give out sound packs on there as well as acapella packs and um, a bunch of other stuff on there. Tutorials, lessons, blah, blah, blah. Um, check out bloom-audio.com if you want a great mixing and mastering by um, me. I'll put a code down in the description that you can use for 15% off until the end of the month. Oh yeah, I do feedback streams every Saturday at uh, 2 p.m. roughly, PST. Give or take, still figuring out this time schedule, but it should be roughly around there. So make sure to check that out on my YouTube or Twitch. Tune in next time when I grow extra arms. Shout out to my patrons, you guys are awesome. You're now listening to Sway. The link to check out his music is down in the description. Don't have all the answers.